Hey everyone, Kiki here. Now, don't freak out too much. I know I'm not wearing makeup, but I am just heading out in the shower and I guess you're like, why did you come on camera without, you know, putting on your face and doing your hair? Well, I want it for those of you who actually care about my little, I don't know, finding my way to naturality journey. I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to actually show just how far I'm coming along with my new growth. So of course this is how it is with the shrinkage and if I tug on it, it's longer than that. So about right here. So I'm thinking, you know, so far so good considering that I've been growing it out for about five months, about half a year. So I'm thinking, you know, pretty good pretty good pace and I'm really excited I'm finding that my texture is actually going to form tiny little coils rather than just huge gigantic curls so I'm very excited about that just some days I want to just go ahead and just chop my ends because it's just my relaxed ends are starting to rebel it's not that I don't know what to do I mean you can easily just roll them up or if you just want to grab that iron you can iron them but you know they're kind of just they're wanting to split and trying everything so my main thing is just having to keep them moisturized and semi happy until that faithful time give you another shot that faithful time where I want to um, hope you guys can hear me finally do my big chop now I know this piece right here is all natural because the relaxed end actually broke off so I'm just trying to give you different viewpoints and again I hope you guys can see but if not you will just have a couple of minutes where you can just kind of laugh at the dorky kid who wants to just show you your um, her hair. <laughs> but getting to the main reason why you're here, I was able to go ahead and get the testing done with the pH strips that I showed you in the previous video. And I decided I was going to test out three shampoos. Reason being that I didn't test out the conditioners is that the strips that I actually have, I'm having some difficulty in reading the conditioners because they are so thick. So when I get my hands on some better pH strips, I'll go back and test the conditioners. So to let you know, the three that I chose were the new Cream of Nature Kiwi and Citrus Ultra Moisturizing Shampoo, and this is considered for dry and brittle hair. Let you get a close look at that. This is a sulfate shampoo. As a matter of fact, it is listed as the second main ingredient. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if you can pick that up, but I'm going to get in as close as I can, and if you can't, just, you know, hope you can take my word for it. I discussed that I was going to try this out last video, the Smoothing Shea Butter Shampoo by Organics. This is a sulfate-free shampoo. Oh, and I did try it. It, along with the conditioner, felt really well. As a matter of fact, and this is this has to be a first-time deal. I did not notice any itching. Normally, if I don't put anything in my um, in my hair or on my scalp. Uh, it gets extremely dry just like in my tagged video where I was saying I always keep the oil bottle with the grapeseed oil, the shea butter oil, the olive oil, especially around the winter time because I get dry. I did that deliberately just so I can see how long I can go before I notice itching and flaking and with the organics line I was going into day three, day four and I wasn't itching. I wasn't flaking. It love the stuff. I was just like, wow, really? I mean, of course, not literally because I wasn't itching, but you know. <laughs> and then I'm glad CVS has the little trial sizes, but this is a new line I came across. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's spelled C-R-I-S-T-O-P-H-E. So I'm just going to go with it and just say it's Kristoff by Beverly Hills or Christoph Beverly Hills and it's called Purely Natural. It's free of sulfates, parabens, fragrance, and dyes and it's considered to be one of the Purely Natural daily shampoos. Just wanted to make sure nothing fell over so I wanted to get my little results in so 
See, I made index cards for you. <laughs> All right. Now, to make sure that these strips work, of course, I tested it with water. Water on the pH scale, as you recall, me going over last time, hits about a 7. So, the range that we're going to want to hit is 5, 5.5. So, Cream of Nature, it hit at a 6.5. I was... Not too surprised, <laughs> just because, well, I'm not going to say all sulfate shampoos are going to be, you know, high and closer to the alkalinity side. I'm not, I'm not going to say that, but, you know, that saying, you get what you pay for, that whole thing, and that whole quality, and yeah. Considering that I was able to get a bottle for that size for about three something and you hear people talk about cream of nature but you really don't see people very enthusiastic about it so I wasn't too surprised but the cream of nature hit at a 6.5 next was the organics again like I said I wasn't suffering any irritation of the scalp so I got my answer the shampoo hit at 5.5 I'm definitely going to try my best to stick with this line. If there's any reason why I can't stick with the line, it could be because, um, well, I think it's a little bit on the higher end side for a drugstore shampoo. I believe at Walgreens it was $6.99. So if I can find it for cheaper, I'll definitely keep it up. But I really like it. <laughs> I, I really like it. It made my hair feel soft. It... I, I'm speechless. I can't say anything else about it. Alright, before you guys think I'm too crazy. The Kristoff Purely Natural Shampoo. It hit about 5.5 to 5.8. That's what I'm going to call it because it wasn't exactly the same color as the Organics. It was a little bit higher but it didn't quite hit 6. So I'm going to call it as 5.5 to 5.8, which is really good. I haven't shampooed with that yet, but I'll definitely let you know. And let's see. I know you're like, why did she just pause like she had more shampoos? Um, eh, wrong bottle. Now, I know a lot of people, they tend to shampoo with neutralizing shampoos and I'm speaking to my girls out there who are relaxing there's nothing wrong with relaxing your hair uh, convenience style you just don't want to do the whole afro chic thing nothing's wrong with that um, but I want to go ahead and warn you if you're wondering why you might be itching um, neutralizing shampoos are specifically designed to lower the pH of a relaxer now on the pH scale, the relaxer hits at a 14. So, in order to, you know, neutralize it and bring that back down and start rebuilding those bonds that were broken, not going into this whole scientific spiel, but, well, I guess I kind of am. But you don't want to use something that's designed to, like, just bring down something that's extremely harsh for the sheer fact that your skin and your hair is not a 14. We would be in a lot of trouble if we were walking around with pHs of 14s. So I went ahead and decided to test a neutralizing shampoo. Now, of course, I'm not going to say all of them are the same, but this was the Ultra Sheen Supreme. It's a dual purpose shampoo with color alert. This claims to be a low pH shampoo that cleanses and softens with extra conditioning and it says that it is gentle enough for neutralizing and daily use. Well, I decided to go ahead and test this and it's kind of funny but this hit so I don't know maybe it is low for a neutralizing shampoo but this hit the same as this. So, I mean, just putting it out there, I'm not going to quote or say anything, but they hit around the same line. This that claims to be for dry and brittle hair, and this which is specifically designed to neutralize a relaxer. 